This video is going to give an overview of the Pose Anywhere HUD and this is version 2 so it has quite a few new features in it and we're going to go through each one and see how it works. There are a few different ways to install poses into the HUD. The first way we'll look at is installing a pose pack that you've purchased from a pose maker. Um, I have two boxes here that I've sort of mocked up as though I got them from a pose maker, which she would never use boxes this ugly, but um, what you do when you get a box or a bag from a pose maker is you simply click it and you pick the install button. And if you watch the HUD in very quick time, the poses will appear uh, within the HUD. I'm going to click this one here too and install these and you'll notice that this one now um, changes and now these poses are installed as well. Now we can also now select between these and go back to the male poses or we can go back to the female poses and both of those pose packs are now installed in the HUD. Now what about poses that you already have in your studio that you've already purchased and are already in use. Um, for example, I have this pose stand here that is just a simple three prim thing that just has a small script in it and a bunch of poses and um, allows you to just cycle through them and pose. Well, using those and installing those into the the pose HUD is very simple. All you do is you take the pose pack installer script that comes with the pose HUD, drop it in, and then all you need to do is click on this, pick the install button just like you did before with the um, with the purchased packs, and in a moment you'll notice that these poses are then installed. Now let's take a look at what you can actually do with the HUD. Imagine that you want to take photos of a model at a location where you don't have build rights, and of course your poses are no transfer. So how do you pose someone when you can't give them a copy of your poses and you can't res a pose stand. That's where the Pose Anywhere HUD really shines. You can pose your model using your own poses without having to res anything. Posing a model is very simple. You simply select which pose groups you want to use. We'll say we want these here. You'll see that they're loaded. And then when you press the Pose Model button, it will scan around you and present you a list of avatars that are in the area. You simply select your model and that will send them an invitation on their screen to um, give you permission to animate them. And when they press yes, you'll see that your HUD shows you that you're posing someone and shows you which pose you're on. And at that point, and you can just scroll through the poses. And when you're finished posing someone, you simply press the stop button and you're done. In addition to being able to scroll through your poses with the arrow buttons, the HUD also has an auto advance feature. It can either advance through your poses sequentially or in an order, or you can have it pick random poses out of this pose set that you have loaded. To use this feature, you simply click the button and pick the number of seconds that you want in between pose changes. Let's pick seven for this example. And now you'll see that a timer counts down and when it reaches zero, it'll move to the next pose. So if you want to, you can turn this on and concentrate on simply on taking photographs and letting the HUD actually change your poses for you. And you can turn it off at any time. Another nice feature that the HUD has is saved camera positions. So if you'd like to set your camera in a particular spot and be able to return to it easily, it's quite easy. Here's a uh, close up and we'll just click this button here and it will save your current camera position to that spot and you can then turn it off if you want to and let's make another one from this angle and save it here and we can turn that off as well and anytime you want to go back to those it's just a matter of clicking the one that you want. One other convenient feature um, is the ability to minimize the HUD when you want to get it out of your way. Um, let's switch camera positions here and say that we really want this to be minimized and even when it's minimized you still have forward and back buttons so you can still scroll through poses and animate your model um, even though the HUD is minimized. And lastly uh, all of the pose features are also available not just for your models but also for yourself. If you just click the pose self button 
uh, you'll automatically start posing and you can scroll through your poses then.